You look like this is your last day. Yeah, I'm going to miss the place. You got anything lined up? No, I'll have a couple of days off and off my services again. Well, I'm sure if something came up here, you'd be in with a chance. I prefer the love them and leave them approach. Yeah, exactly. We stopped eating meat. If... Well, I'm more of a pescatarian, actually. I eat fish. Ah, Waterloo Road's new car share scheme up and running. Nice to see you cutting your carbon emissions. Don't think me getting a lift is a reaction to some half-wit's criminal behaviour. In one week, you've prevented 50 kilograms of CO2 going into the atmosphere. Just count to ten. Janice, you're doing my head in. Why don't you just tell us who this lad you're seeing is? What exactly call him a lad? He's a bit older. Have you been with him? Just because you're going to get buried in a Y-shaped coffin doesn't mean I am. It's nothing like that. It's special. Oh, my God, you don't love him, do you? Governor's AGM. Which pupils are involved? OK, we have uh, Alicia Dillon and Daniel Harker. No, no, not them. Not those two. Well, those two have got a lot to learn about community spirit. I really need them involved. And we have Bolton Smiley, Paul Langley, you know, the um, Lessons for Life group. You want me to produce this with that lot? No, you, you've got to be joking. Grantly. You're my last hope. And you'll be doing a personal favour for me. Morning. Jasmine's speaking and listening coursework. It's not bad. What, you've marked it already? Yeah, wasn't a big job. <laughs> Wilson, mate. Hey, Eddie, have you seen this? What? He's marked all Jazzy's coursework. You want to sign this player up? Yeah, great. Super smashing, that. Oh, thank you, Jim Bowen. Hey! Hey, Jo. she is, all refreshed and raring to go. Oh, definitely. After your week's leave. Oh, Jazz, this is Wilson. Hi. Hiya. He took over most of your classes while you were um, away. Yeah, and he's up to date with all your marking. What, seriously? Yeah. It's not a problem. You've got a nice group there. I just don't get it myself. What? Wilson and his inexhaustible supply of drooling females. Mm. I think there's going to be a few broken hearts in sixth form after today. Oh, that peril of the job. Well, even little Janice is being attentive in lessons. Really? Yeah. Mind you, I don't think it would do her any harm to have an educational relationship with an older man. You are joking. Well, not with a teacher, obviously, because that would be an abuse of trust. Mind you, if they'd had that in my day off, the teachers in my school would have been locked up. <laughs> Janice, what did we say? No, oh, yeah, but it's your last day today, isn't it? We can't say anything now. It's that book, remember? The one that we saw? Do you like it? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. It's got all the best dinosaur sites in it. Even mentions that place we're gonna go to. Janice, yeah, it's my last day, but I can still get struck off. Is that what you want? No, of course not. How many cards and texts have you sent me? Six cards and 23 texts. Right, enough. Let's just get through today, but I need you to keep quiet. It's just a couple of hours, and then... I've got a bit of a surprise for you later. What? Go on, I'll see you in a bit. Then I get a kiss goodbye. Do you get 
the wrong side of the bed this morning. What exactly do you mean by that? Oh, come on, Eddie, I'm joking. Yeah, well, I'm not laughing. What's wrong? You've been a pain in the butt all week. What is it? I know. What do you know? I know about your past, Rachel, Amanda, whatever your name is. Who'd have thought today? Our fine, upstanding head teacher was once a prostitute. Eddie, where are you going? I thought you had principles. Got your new build all boxed off with your mate Stuart Hordley, if that's his real name. Nice little carve up. This is not scraping plates and wiping tables. He's on 25 grand a year. 25G? Not a bad wedge, that, Jan. I can't tell anyone's life at school. I'm going out, Mr. Bink. <laughs> the supply teacher? Yeah. Oh, Chloe, he's gorgeous. I'm getting engaged after that. I hit my ring out and everything. Diamond on white gold. Jeez, he's a teacher. I know, yeah. Can you believe it? Me, going out with a teacher. <gasps> you can't go out with your teacher. I can't. I'm nearly 17 now. Do what I want. Anyway, like at quarter past three when we leave, he's not going to be with the teacher no more. He still taught you, didn't he? Well, we haven't, you know. What do you believe, Matt? Uh, so, does he feel the same way about you? We love Smith. Says I'm dead funny. He always goes on about me hair. He's into fossils, dinosaurs. Oh, he knows everything. Janice, teachers don't go out with the pupils. It's just wrong. I've never been out with no one before, Club. Mum said the only man I get to keep is one with a white stick. He must be about 30. No. He's nearly 27. His birthday's a week before mine. Oh, this is it, Club. I'm serious. In love. <laughs> Stuart Hordley and I are not mates or cronies or anything like that. Eddie. Then what was he doing handing that file to you? Being public spirited. His secretary um, used to know me before I went into teaching. He was doing me a favour. <laughs> I don't believe you. Well, that's your choice. How long have you known? Does it matter? I know. That's problem enough. It was a very long time ago. No. It's now. It's yesterday. It's this term. So many lies, Rachel. <sighs> I know you. I've got a past I'm not proud of. What's wrong with wanting to put that behind me? I was 17. And things were bad at home. And I got the offer of making a thousand quid a week. And it took me two years to get out of that. And the only route out was to get myself an education. And that is why I'm here. It'll get out, Rachel. It always does. <laughs> Imagine the headlines. Look, can't we just focus on the here and the now? Oh, for God's sake! If Stuart Hoadley's secretary knows, how long before everybody knows? What does that bother you? I'm worried about the potential damage to this school. I can't stand the fact that you and Stuart Hoadley... That he knows about you, and he got the contract. For the record, Stuart Hordley's bid was miles better than anyone else, and it is as simple as that. Oh, it's 
so embarrassing. Why is Mason making us do this? Don't you want to be a good sissy sin leash? No, I don't want to be here any more than you do. Food tech. <laughs> Whatever next. Right, I don't, I don't even think about messing me about today because you know what to expect if you do. Today, you lot are somehow going to create a feast for the governors. Right. Ears open. Gobs shut. Two teams. Sweets and savouries. Right, savouries. That's you, um, you and you. Sweets. Bolton and Paul. Right, oh look, in other words, those with half a brain there. Those with less, over there. Move! Are you serious? Goat's cheese tartlet, chickpea... F I don't even know what that says. Falafel. Falafel. Sir, can we just pick this lot up from a supermarket? No, apparently that would defeat the object. Anyway, you've got the hard part. Uh, a, you're not thick, and B, I trust you with knives. So uh, prepare the vegetables, roast the chicken, and dice it. What the thick is doing? They are making a chocolate cake under my supervision. We don't even want to be here and we can't make a chocolate cake. I've already told you. So we're doing the boring stuff because they're a bunch of pea brains. <laughs> that is, like, so unfair. <laughs> Who said life was fair? Get on with it. You know what happens when you put a load of this in cake mix? Every kind of composition needs to be planned. Because we can't expect the examiner to follow our short stories or essays unless we know exactly where we're going ourselves. I know where I'm going. First, you gather your material together. Where are you with him? You make a plan. Get real, Janice. What exactly I mean, do yeah. I want to say? How do I say it? And you keep the important stuff. And you throw away the crap. Janice. Janice. Second. Do you remember the trouble that Stacey got herself into? Not to mention the grief she caused Tom. Do you want me to go and find Eddie? No. Come on, let's just get started. What, without him? Does anyone think that he's been acting really funny lately? Earlier he said he didn't even want Stuart Hordley to work here. Oh. We've got a very busy day, what with the Governor's AGM. I presume you're going to, um, talk them through the new staff structure? Yeah. I'm looking forward to the kids' buffet. Well, we've got Granty in there, keeping them in check. Tom, um, if we get the green light with a new staff structure, I've heard Wilson's done a really great job. Do you think he'd be interested in a permanent post? Don't know, really. I mean, he has been amazing. Should be in the running for Supply Teacher of the Year award. You're really coming on, Janice. We'll get a C grade out of you yet. I want you to study the notes very carefully, OK? Well, good, mate. I think your girlfriend should be pleased with that. Janice. You give me a hand with the books to the store cupboard, please. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Cheers. We'll meet up after the AGM. Rachel. Can I have a word, please? Oh, so now you've got something to say. You made that meeting really uncomfortable for everybody. Yeah, but I feel a bit out of the loop here. You're going to have to bear with me. I need to know. Why did Hordley pass that information to you? I told you. Yeah, he did you a favour. Why? I don't know. You're going to have to ask him that. <laughs> oh, Eddie, let's just leave it, yeah. The bid's been accepted. Stuart is going to build us a fantastic new building. He is as passionate about it as we are. We are supposed to be focusing on the kids. I am focusing on the kids. 